learn a new defense and also help younger guys? What's kind of the balance there of you understanding something new and also helping them learn it? Um, for the most part, it's not new. You know, I've been in the, in the league now 12 years, so the scheme is a scheme. You know, just for the most part, just understand the, understanding the different terminology. And Coach uh, Ed does a very good job of, you know, making the communication part of it very simple so we can just go up, line up, and play football as fast as we can. So that part of it has not really been a struggle or a learning curve for me. Um, but have an opportunity to uh, be a, a, a helping point for these young guys, uh, you know, it's been, been um, very huge for me because it also it keeps me engaged. It keeps me, like I tell the guys all the time, those guys keep me feeling young. So um, I just want to continue just passing on little nuggets as I can uh, to kind of help their game grow and flourish into what they wanted it to be. And what have you seen from those young guys out here in this early part of spring? You know, it's tough because we work in the two, the two fields and, you know, that's why we have a different meeting time. So when we're in meetings, we're pretty much watching us. You know, Lewis is probably the only young guy that's been on our field uh, for the most part. You know, the guy that, you know, I was able able to see on film, but the second part of the meetings, uh, when the young guys come in, they, they're watching themselves. So it's hard to say which one is standing out right now, but once camp comes around, everybody will be on one field, everybody will be competing for a position on the on the team, but that's when I pretty much give you a, uh, a better indication on which guy is standing out. Defense, um, you know, Kevin was talking about just how important it is for the defense to show things that are not easily identifiable. Mm -hmm. I guess, what do, what do you see what makes it so hard for offenses to identify you at the line of scrimmage? Uh, I, I can go back to the first meeting we had with Coach Ed, and he's just preached about, you know, stealing the second from the quarterback and disguises, lining up in certain things to steal that second is going to make our job that much easier. Um, because when you have a confused quarterback, you know, don't have a clear indication on where to go with the ball, that gives Daniil and Z opportunity to get, you know, add that much more pressure on them. So um, I love the scheme. I love the way it's, uh, it's structured. I love the way um, that it's built. And I'm just excited to see how it's going to unfold here in, uh, in, 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 in this fall. Pat, you mentioned that Lewis was on the field with y'all, one of the only young guys. As a former first round defensive back, what have you seen from this first round defensive back in your short time? Well, you know, um, I was uh, I wasn't I wasn't fortunate enough to have a spring, you know, when I came out. So I had to go right to to summer camp. So it was much quicker for uh, for me to turn around going to a four weeks camp right into the season with him having you know the six week of, of spring ball and going into summer uh, summer camp here in a couple uh, in a, in, a, in a next month and a half. So I think I believe he's moving along very well. You know, just with him, it's just going to come down to you know learning what's uh, acquired of him, the different, the, different, the different tools he may have to use, uh, the different terminology, the different checks. So I think that at the end of the day, that's what it's going to come down to. But like I said, Coach Ed does a great job to, to, to allow guys just to line up and play fast. And, and that's what you know, this defense is going to allow him to do whenever he gets his opportunity to go out there and play. Patrick, when it comes to those disguises that are important to this defense working well, what what are the types of things you guys might actually practice to, to make that effective? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's why having a great attendance here um, throughout OTAs, throughout this mandatory mini camp is huge uh, because these are the times that you can see, you know, when a guy is uh, moving a certain way, you know, how to, to roll the coverage a certain way, how to make sure that that we're capitalizing on still in that second. You know, these times like, like this right here is, is, is very important to us. So, you know, having the whole group here, you know, I, I don't, I can't think of a guy who wasn't here majority of the uh, majority of the spring. So having guys here le learning one another, leaning on one another, and also just being brothers keepers is just going to make us that much closer knitted team to where when adversity do hits, you know, we won't, we won't blink at all. What's it been like for the, the back end of the defense skill positions to go full throttle while the, the line maybe isn't going quite as, as much in, in the spirit of trying to take care of each other, still be competitive at the ball, but protect each other too? Yeah, you know, you know Coach did a, did a great job of, of explaining how, you know, he, he wanted practice to be. Um, 
and you know we have guys on this team that that, that understands how to practice, how to be pros when we are when we are out there on the grass. Um, and coach made it very clear that you know no one is making or getting cut, you know, from you know the the couple practices that we are out on the field. We want to pretty much be uh, uh, above the shoulder of emphasis. You know, we want to see how you how we learn on the fly. How how do we learn uh, when it's time to make a check, or how do we learn? You know, uh, how do you adjust when when offenses are shifting and, and got all the jet motions and, and and things like that? So this period was basically um, just a mental aspect of the game. You know, and I believe um, uh, Tyler and, and and all the all the guys on the training staff and the sports science side did a great job making sure that you know keeping the injuries down to a minimum, but also making sure that we are competitive and getting some quality working at the same time. Which team, in, in your mind, stresses the corners more? What you played last year or this team as far as the, you know, far as the ask of the cornerbacks? I mean, in any scheme, your, your, a corner is, uh, the cornerback position is stressful, you know. So, you know, uh, if, if, if when you – when you give a quarterback a, a certain look, you know, if a single high, for an example, he knows where he's going with the football. He's going outside, you know, so that makes the cornerback job hard because now you pretty much have a red dot on you. Versus in our defense now, given the shell look, but you don't know if we're in a single high shell, two, uh, uh, cover two, we could be in the one hole. So at the end of the day, our safety is going to give, you know, our corners, you know, a little bit more help to steal that second from the quarterback. That's what I'm talking about, stealing that second from the quarterback versus giving him a single high. He knew exactly where he's going with the ball right now. So having putting that time in now, but to answer your question, living on the island is always hard, so it don't matter which scheme that you're in. <laughs> Let's do one more. You mentioned uh, this being out here a lot of the shoulders up. Um, do you feel noticeably better from a physical standpoint after this type of spring than maybe you would have been some other years? No doubt about it. You know, my body feels great. Um, you know, guys ask me all the time, do, do it feel like I'm in year 12? No, it really doesn't. Um, I don't I don't know if it's, it's been this off season the way coach has been taking care of, or just the sports science in general. You know, that's been very huge in the league over the last, you know, four to five years. So um, you, can see, you can see guys are really, you know, taking those necessary steps to make sure that guys are on the field on Sundays when we need them. So, you know, this is, I feel great. You know, I can't wait to see what year to, or year 12 has to bring for me. All right, guys. Have a good summer.